Hey everyone, welcome back to Yusuf Reacts. Today, we're diving into a film that's both visually stunning and emotionally intense, Serena 2014. Starring Jennifer Lawrence and Bradley Cooper, this movie has generated quite a bit of buzz. So, grab your popcorn and let's get started. Released in 2014, Serena is a drama set in the Smoky Mountains during the Great Depression. Directed by Suzanne Beer, this film brings together two powerhouse actors from Silver Linings Playbook, Jennifer Lawrence and Bradley Cooper, in a story of love, ambition, and betrayal. Now, let's talk about the plot. No major spoilers here, just enough to give you a taste. The story follows George Pemberton, played by Bradley Cooper, a timber baron whose business is thriving. He meets Serena, portrayed by Jennifer Lawrence, a strong-willed woman with a mysterious past. They quickly fall in love and marry, and Serena becomes deeply involved in George's business, proving herself to be just as capable and ruthless as any man. Sounds intriguing, right? But as their empire grows, so do the complications. Serena's inability to have children and her ruthless nature lead to tension, ultimately driving a wedge between the couple. One of the film's strengths is its stunning cinematography. The lush landscapes of the North Carolina mountains are captured beautifully, making every frame a visual treat. Lawrence and Cooper deliver compelling performances, especially Lawrence who portrays Serena's descent into obsession and madness with chilling intensity. However, the film isn't without its flaws. The pacing can be slow at times, and some plot points feel underdeveloped. There's also a sense that the film is trying to be too many things. At Ansia historical drama, a romance, a thriller which can make it feel a bit disjointed. Despite these issues, Serena has moments of brilliance. The chemistry between Lawrence and Cooper is undeniable, and there are scenes that will leave you on the edge of your seat. The film also explores themes of power, greed, and the destructive nature of obsession, which add depth to the narrative. So, should you watch Serena? If you're a fan of Jennifer Lawrence or Bradley Cooper, it's definitely worth checking out for their performances alone. And if you enjoy period dramas with a dark twist, this film might just be for you. Overall, Serena is a visually captivating film with strong performances, even if it doesn't quite hit the mark in terms of storytelling. It's a mix of beauty and darkness that will leave you thinking long after the credits roll. In Depression Air in North Carolina, the future of George Pemberton's timber empire becomes complicated when he marries Serena. North Carolina Mountains in the 192 OS newlyweds George Cooper and Serena Pemberton Lawrence begin to build a timber empire. Serena soon proves herself to be equal to any man overseeing loggers, hunting rattlesnakes, even saving a man's life in the wilderness. With power and influence now in their hands, the Pembertons refuse to let anyone stand in the way of their inflated love and ambitions. A new movie starring Jennifer Lawrence and her American Hustle co-star Bradley Cooper, featuring tension, violence, sweeping mountain locations, and jazz-age costumes that are duly removed for sizzling scenes of a sexual nature. Shouldn't this new J-Law and B. Coop event be the biggest thing round as we enter awards season? Well, not exactly. This interesting, flawed film was completed more than two years ago then shelved while its distributors wondered what to do with it. Despite offering what is arguably Jennifer Lawrence's most ambitious and grown-up performance so far, Serena has been left to sidle into UK cinemas right after a notably unhooplad premiere at the London Film Festival. The American release is still a while off. Its director is Suzanne Beer, the Danish filmmaker responsible for the challenging drama in a better world and who also gained a commercial track record with English-language movies such as Love It All You Need and Things We Lost in the Fire. Beer is an interesting person to take charge of this big emotional spectacle. Set in Depression-era America in the Great Smoky Mountains of Tennessee and North Carolina, 
It is clotted with its own atmosphere of tragic gloom and erotic doom. Cooper plays George Pemberton, a young entrepreneur, with an irresponsible, romantic streak, who owns a logging business in the forest. His business is precarious and unsafe, the employees are always getting injured or killed, but there is so much unemployment that he can always find willing replacements from the dirt poor menfolk. His loyal business partner, Buchanan David Densett tries to keep the financial plates spinning by raising a bank loan secured against Pemberton's highly speculative ownership of forest land in Brazil. Meanwhile, the sheriff Toby Jones resents their destructive swagger and wants to save the forests for a federally protected national park. At this knife-edge moment, Pemberton falls passionately in love with Serena, Lawrence, a staggeringly beautiful and proud woman from a poor background. Impulsively, he proposes marriage, and after their honeymoon, the couple return to their tough frontier kingdom in feudal triumph. George announces to his cow workers that his headstrong, imperious bride, Serena must be treated as his equal, and they must take orders from her as willingly as from him. It all leads to disaster. Intriguingly, beer has created a kind of Macbeth noir atmosphere. It could be compared to Anthony Minghella's Cold Mountain 2003 or John Hillcoat's Flawless 2012 but strikes me now as more interesting than either. In fact, it is the sort of movie which, in Hollywood's golden age, George Stevens might have wanted to direct. It has the same components of erotic obsession, crime and frontier capitalism found in his movies. And Lawrence brings her again. She is passionate, impetuous and confident, with a tough determination to grab the brass ring that has been presented to her. I loved her insistence that the company must bring in an eagle to keep down the population of venomous snakes, which are endangering the workforce, and that only she can be allowed to train the eagle. It is a gloriously queenly, almost Tudor moment for Lawrence, who has a glimmer of Kate Blanchett's Elizabethan hotter. Serena had surrendered eagerly, almost ecstatically, to the socio-erotic excitement of getting a marriage proposal from a handsome, wealthy man, and then she dominates him sensually in their married life, spurring him to greater achievements and inspiring ruthlessness against those who get in his way. I wonder if Beer has brought a distinctively European, non-Hollywood manner to some of this. There is a scene in which Serena gets uncharacteristically sloppy drunk at a grand dinner and deliberately excites and annoys her husband by dancing with another man. This is followed by angry, jealous, complicated marital sex. There is a gamey flavor here, it doesn't quite fit into the star brand identity, Lawrence has cultivated, and this might account for the film's relatively low profile. Then there's the fact that her character is unsympathetic, which is still considered a mortal sin by many film producers of movies and book publishers. Finally, the film crumples with a shower of sparks into a forest fire of melodramatic absurdity, with all kinds of violent lurches and plot entanglements. But not before Lawrence has given us a performance of fierce, plated intensity. Whatever resulted, Serena can be enigmatic. Visually, the movie has a lot of beautiful shots. There's also great talents among the cast. The story seems like it is meant for a powerful tragedy, but these assets, however, lead to a rather dreary, unfocused drama that doesn't quite live up to its ambition. Even with the looks of a grand and dazzling piece of cinema, the film doesn't come close with that worth. And it's a truly frustrating thing to look at a movie with such strong potential become a strange mess. The story is basically an old-fashioned American drama about a man who manages a timber industry, oppresses his ambition that leads to numerous unfortunate events. The core here is a love story in which its romance is often non-existent. We hardly get to see how they fully develop their relationship. But there is still an interesting growth within these rich details. But the movie is too scattered with various subplots that each takes over the entirety. There is too many conflicts, 
like they are mostly separated into a whole new, different story, unable to say a single or definite point. The third act becomes a weird flood of consequences that doesn't necessarily gain any deserving depth. There is so much going on with the story, the film also manages to shift it into several tones. It goes to art house calmness, a showy drama, and then even has a preposterous climax. The worst of it, indeed, never fits into its stunning production values. The film seems to be too reliant on what it has. It has captivating cinematography, impressive production, and even the actors are just doing what they believe they can do to make this movie work. Jennifer Lawrence and Bradley Cooper are the main attraction here. While they try to bring something to the table, the movie remains to be dreary for not letting the two have an actual engaging moment together. The pacing is reasonably slow, but sometimes it becomes an obligation than another moment to thoughtfully breathe. Serena is a pretty strange film to encounter, one that has its best potentials fall apart into a surprisingly dull cinema. It's still fascinating to see what it has great cast, striking images, richly defined context, and gripping drama if only it has more time to actually develop them, but it really doesn't have an exact intention. And the story keeps on going, still failing to be actually engaging. This is an obvious lesson about creating cinematic drama, when things needed real definition on what's going on and who the characters are, than just throwing them away with stuff that could gloss over its half-baked narrative. Even the presence of the ever-appealing Jennifer Lawrence and Bradley Cooper couldn't overlook the entire film's unimaginable flaws. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this review, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more movie reviews and recommendations. Have you seen Serena? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, happy watching!